So how do I delete the last element in my list? I only, only have three things here. I want to delete C. How do I delete C? So I can delete the tail node. I can delete the tail node pointer. And I can move it back to B. But how do I move it back to B? I have to go from the front. I don't have any mechanism in a singly linked list to start at C and go to B and go from B to A. Okay. The only way I can get to B is by starting at the beginning and going A and then B and then C. Okay. I have to start at the beginning of the list. There's no alternative. So with three things, it's relatively straightforward. I can just start at A and go to B, and I'm done. But if I have a list with several different nodes in it, let's add one more node. But let's assume that I have a list with maybe 10 nodes or 100 nodes or 1,000 nodes. How do I know that I'm at the last node? And how do I know that I'm at the node before the last node in order to be able to delete it? So one way I could try and do it is I could keep track of current size and remember that I've got to go to current size less one. An alternative way to do it, which is a more effective way of doing it, is to make two temporary pointers. Okay? You have two pointers. The first one is going to be called previous. So no, it's not. The first one is going to be called current and is going to point to head. The second one is going to be called previous and when we start off is going to point to null. Okay? So I'm going to have one called current that starts pointing at head and one called previous that starts pointing at null. And as I go through my list, what I want to do is I want to set previous to current and then I want to set current to current.next. Okay, and then I'm going to set previous to current and current to current.next. And then I'm going to set previous to current and current to current.next. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get to the end of the list. How do I know I'm at the end of the list? So there's two ways to tell. The first way to tell if current is equal to tail. Don't have my tail pointer. Here's my tail pointer. If current is equal to tail, I'm at the end of the list. Or if current dot next is null, I'm also at the end of the list. Okay. So I've got two different ways of stopping here. Again, it's up to you how you write this code. I'm giving you alternatives, options, so you can customize your code in, in the way that makes the most sense for you. The way that makes the most sense for me is to use current as equal to tail because it's one less chance to get a null pointer exception. Okay. Okay. So. We're going to iterate through the list using previous and current until we get current pointing to the last thing, previous points to the thing before that, and then all we have to do is set previous.next equal to null. That will delete the last element in the list. So again, we have to think about our five boundary conditions. So what do we do if we have an empty list? 
it's the same as our code for our remove first, right? If we have an empty list, we can just return null and get out of there. What about in our situation that we've already seen where we have one element in a list? All right, so we've, we've figured out empty list, and we'll come back to that. I'll show you the code for that in a second. And what about a single element list? So this is our single element list. And we want to do a remove last. So there are two ways that we could do this. One way that we could do this is write all the code for remove last. But we could say, you know what, if I've only got one element in my list, remove last is the same as remove first. And we've already written the code for remove first, and we've debugged it, and we know it works. And we're totally happy. We've run test codes on it, and it works for every possible situation. We've already written the code for remove first, so let's just use it. Okay. So I'll remove, what color haven't I used? I'll remove last method looks something like this. Check to see if the list is empty, the same way as before. If head is null, return null. If it's a single element list, so if head is equal to tail. You know what? I don't want to write that code again. So we'll just return remove first. Done. Problem solved. Notice that we're returning here, right? So as soon as we return, we're out of this method. We come into the method. If head is null, we return null. We don't consider any of the other code. If we've got a single element list, we return remove first, we're done. We don't even look at any of the other code. Yeah? So when we return, we're out of there. So now we need to set up our nodes for our current and previous nodes so that we can go through the list. So we're going to have node E current equal to head and previous equal to null. Again, I'm making two assignments on one line. You can put these on two separate lines if you'd like. You can say node E current equal head, node E previous equal null. But you can also just put them on one line. And now I have to go through my list until I get to the end. So we're going to do this until we get to the end of the list. So while current does not equal tail, and remember the order here is really crucial. We need to start off with previous pointing to null and current pointing to our node. We need to set previous to current and then current to current.next. If you set current to current.next and then previous to current, you'll end up with everything pointing to the last node. Okay. So the order here is critical. So previous is equal to current, and current is equal to current dot next. When we get to this point, current is equal to tail, current is pointing to D, Previous is pointing to C. So we can say previous dot next is tail. And what do we need to remember to do? We need to remember to update our tail pointer. Okay. If you don't update the tail pointer, you're going to break this link right here. So now you have two different linked lists. You have one linked list that starts with head and another linked list that starts with tail. 
If you keep doing an add last, an add last, an add last, it will grow the second linked list. And so you have two different linked lists. So now we just need to say tail is equal to previous, change current size, return current dot data. Have we coped with our boundary conditions? What do we do if the list is empty? If the list is empty, head is null, we return null. What do we do if we have a single element list? If we have a single element list, we're just going to remove first. Our remove first is awesome because we did that earlier and we debugged it. We're OK. What about if we're working at the beginning? Well, if we're working at the beginning, it's a single element list, so we've got our remove first. What about working at the end? That's exactly what we're trying to do here. Previous.next equals tail. That's not right. You guys didn't see that? Previous.next is not tail. Previous.next is already tail. We need to delete that. Previous.next is null. Sorry about that. I was busy thinking ahead about my tail pointer. See, we checked at the end of the list and we found a bug. Ha <laughs> clever. And we're not working in the middle, so we're okay. All right. So we've checked our five boundary conditions. <laughs>